I'm gonna give you some tips when you're traveling to Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, Vietnam. Keep watching the video. Welcome back, it's Jeff Lepard from jefflepard.com and on this channel we do product reviews, do-it-yourself videos, vacation videos and much much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I'm currently in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, Vietnam and I put together a short list in no particular order of some tips and some of the experiences I've gathered from the locals here, so I wanted to pass that information on with you guys. So I'm going to get started. The first tip that I'm going to give you is, first of all, before you travel to Vietnam, uh, whether it's Ho Chi Minh City or anywhere else, uh, there are visa requirements um, based on where you're from. So that has to be uh, dealt with before you even fly. And you can do that online uh, on the website, easily searchable uh, through Google. Uh, and once you, once you do that, you'll pay a, a, a small fee, depending on uh, how long you're traveling, and uh, you'll print up the paperwork. Just keep that paperwork with you when you arrive. Now, when you arrive, uh, it's very important that uh, there's also gonna be some more information you have to fill out. Uh, don't go in the wrong lineup. You'll end up uh, wasting so much time. So this is what I'm gonna try to save you a little bit of time. So you, there's gonna be a bunch of, uh, bunch of desks, a, a, a big row of that. You're gonna see uh, an application uh, form, even though you've already filled out the visa and whether you already have the 30-day uh, entry visa or whatever, um, whatever it will be, uh, you still have to fill out where you're gonna be staying, who you're staying with, uh, have that all filled out and also um, when you get the visa it's also going to mention that you need two pictures, uh, two passport pictures um, that they require. Now if you don't have that, that's fine. They'll take the pictures for you. Uh, of course, uh, I think the fee is like uh, five US uh, extra. But um, it's not the money problem, it's the waiting. Everything um, that you do is another line and depending on how busy the airport is, it's, uh, it's quite time consuming. Uh, so lining up in the wrong line, there's no real direction. So as soon as you arrive, you get off the airport, you are going to be going through uh, immigration, but before you do so, you got to have this uh, cleared. So you're gonna fill out this application form. Uh, have your pictures, two pictures ready, have your visa um, that you printed out online, and have 25 US dollars in cash. Uh, make sure you have that in cash. If you don't, it's another line and someone will have to call your name and they'll take you over to uh, an ATM or they'll walk you through something uh, and to, to get cash. But uh, make sure you have 25 US cash on you. That's very important. Uh, so if you uh, have the pictures, you, you fill out everything, you hand that in, um, you only have to wait in line once. They'll call you, they'll give you the uh, sticker that's going to um, be your visa, and that's going to be uh, placed into your passport, and away you off, off to the, uh, the carousel to pick up your luggage. And um, so that's, I that's, uh, just wanted to save you a little bit of a headache. Uh, nobody really told me, so I was lining up everywhere, and uh, I ended up taking over two, two and a half hours just trying to get through uh, customs. So hopefully that helps, and uh, if you have any questions, leave that uh, in the comment. So now once you leave the airport, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to get some cash. So you're gonna exchange your home currency for some Vietnamese dong. And you can do that right outside as soon as you pass through customs and you get near the exit, you see a whole row of different booths and uh, they'll exchange your currency and um, you can do that there. Now also keep in mind that uh, it's a little bit more money when you're exchanging currency at the airport. Uh, unlike Thailand, I know um, it's a little bit cheaper uh, to do it at the airport depending on where you're going. But uh, in Vietnam, it's a little bit more uh, higher exchange rates uh, at the airport uh, in Vietnam. So uh, it's best to get a little bit what you need. And then once you get to where you're going, um, so Ho Chi Minh, you can find uh, a lot of money exchange places, um, especially near markets and stuff like that. And I actually found the exchange rate to be a little bit better. So just to keep in mind, um, they're probably a little bit better in town. 
But once you leave the airport, you're gonna need to get a ride either in a taxi, a motorbike, or some sort of vehicle to get you to point A to point B where you're going. Now, I also would recommend in all of Asia, not just Ho Chi Minh, everybody uses the app, uh, the app Grab. So you can use that app and it's really effective. And I would also recommend uh, adding your visa to the app and you get even more of a discount rate when you prepay. So having your visa on file with Grab uh, is the way to go and it's very cheap. Um, I think the airport ride where I'm staying at, and I'm actually on Bui Vien Street right now, from the airport to here was only about four Canadian dollars. It wasn't very much. So uh, I used Grab. Um, if you're not going to use Grab, then um, you can just uh, negotiate a price or talk to the uh, cabs at the airport. Another tip I want to give you is to always make sure you have a good hold of your phone. Uh, one of the locals came up to me and I was actually standing on this street right here and one of the locals told me, you got to be careful with your phone. These motorbikes that are passing by, uh, usually someone's either on the back or someone themselves riding the bike will actually reach out and snatch the phone out of your hand and it's gone. Uh, so that with anything, you know, it could be a purse, it could be anything, but uh, phones are very high theft items here, and there's about one incident every single night on uh, Bui Vien Street and other streets here in uh, Vietnam. So be very careful of your phone, uh, always have a good hold of it, and always uh, keep an eye on your surroundings. Uh, you just gotta be as careful as possible because someone does lose their phone every single night. The next thing you have to be careful of is watching your wallet as well as your personal belongings. There's been stories where you've wandered off. Uh, actually, I just heard a story, a gentleman the other day was wandering off. Uh, he was uh, going down a street or an alley that uh, he wasn't really familiar with and four guys uh, surrounded him and took his wallet. So you gotta be very careful where you're going, especially late at night. Next thing is you all got to be very careful when you're walking down uh, streets you are not familiar with or alleyways. Uh, there's a lot of alleyways and uh, places uh, in uh, Ho Chi Minh City here or anywhere um, in Vietnam as well. So you just got to uh, pay attention, know where you're at and uh, know where you're going because um, you know you don't want to get yourself into uh, some sort of a situation. The next thing I want to talk about is bar bill scamming. Uh, now, most places are pretty honest and they don't do that, but uh, there is a few places that will scam you and will charge you for drinks that you did not have or uh, lady drinks that you did not buy or they did not drink. Uh, you got to pay attention to this. You have to know it's always good to uh, first, once you decide that you want to drink at a bar, always uh, be straight up and ask their prices for the drinks. Most of them all have it written down. Uh, and if you're going to be buying any uh, bar girls or ladies a drink, make sure you know what they cost uh, because how it usually works is they get 30, about 30% 30 uh, and the average lady drink is 100,000 dong. So 30,000 dong will go towards them. So uh, it's very important that you uh, that you can count your drinks and you actually know what's going on. You don't want to uh, be a victim of uh, the bar bill scam. When you're here in a Ho Chi Minh City, you want to make sure that you try authentic pho. And I've actually ate at this at least two, three times now, and it's absolutely delicious. It's uh, 50,000 dong, and you can choose what you want to have. You can have chicken, you can have beef, you can have all kinds of things. Uh, they make it really fast. It's literally ready within 60 seconds to two minutes. 
Uh, so you definitely want to check this out. Uh, and I'm actually just off of Bowie uh, Den Street over here. Uh, one of the side streets here. They're, they're, it's all over the place and most of them are really good. Uh, this just happens to be the particular one that uh, that I've been uh, eating at and it's uh, excellent. So definitely make sure you try Authentic Pho. The next thing I want to talk to you about is drink prices at bars. So drink prices fluctuate uh, on some places it's on the higher end, other places on the low end. Um, so if you're drinking at a larger club, which is normally down Bouyvien Street, you'll see uh, large clubs. You're going to pay a little bit more. Uh, I've seen beers go from 90,000 dong uh, all the way up to even 140,000 dong. Uh, so I'm just going to use two bars here as an example. Uh, so. Here we have uh, the Van and Toy uh, Me and You Bar, which is right here. So uh, the Saigon Special is 45,000 dong in this bar. Uh, and of course, you know, high top seating and that. But just right here, uh, which is almost like, uh, you know, a small garage kind of area. But what they've done is they put out little plastic chairs and tables. So the price, there is only 15,000 dong for uh, a Saigon special. So you see the difference. If uh, if you're okay with just, you know, kind of doing the uh, local thing and uh, gathering there and just sitting down and having, uh, you know, having a cold drink on the street, that's the way uh, the locals do it here. And uh, it's comfortable and, uh, you know, very, very inexpensive. It's all depending on what your taste is, whether you want to do something very, very small or you want to go into a, a different bar. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more just because uh, the seating, uh, the bar. So really, it all depends on um, what you want. So the choice is yours. I just want to let you know that the options are there. You can drink uh, and have some drinks. Inexpensive and very cheap. The other thing you'll have to get used to when you're here in Ho Chi Minh uh, or anywhere in Vietnam for that part is crossing the roads. Everybody jaywalks, there's very little lights and you have to almost put your trust and faith into the uh, motorcycles, the scooters and the people driving. Uh, they will drive around you. It's very important that you make sure you don't walk into someone's path because they will hit you. Uh, so it took me a little bit of time to really uh, be comfortable crossing the street here because you literally have to step out in front of traffic and the bikes will go around you. You have to be a little bit brave and uh, it takes a little bit to cross, but uh, that's what you have to do. Uh, if you don't, you'll be standing there all day because traffic is non-stop here in Ho Chi Minh. So that's it. Those are 10 tips that I put together, hopefully to help you out if you're planning on visiting Ho Chi Minh, Saigon, Vietnam. So I just want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, bash that bell to turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Share the video, give me a thumbs up and like the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your experiences if you've been to Ho Chi Minh City and what you want to add to this list to help others. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you on the next video, jefflepard.com. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.